Once you discover your twin flame, distinct from a soul mate, be prepared for a genuine emotional rollercoaster. Unlike the straightforward narrative of finding a soul mate and living happily ever after, twin flame connections are renowned for their inherent turbulence. When it comes to delineating the stages of encountering your twin flame, experts vary in their opinions on the exact number but a common consensus revolves around five to seven stages. Whether you find yourself immersed in a twin flame relationship or sense that the universe is on the brink of introducing you to the love of your life prompting you to prepare, here are the seven highs and lows characteristic of a twin flame relationship. Anticipating the encounter with your twin flame. If you experience a peculiar sensation that someone is awaiting your presence or that a significant event is on the horizon, you are in the initial stage, according to Chris Plines, the founder of Datenscout.com. Mary J. Gibson, a relationship expert at Datenscout, adds that this phase is marked by a yearning for something, or someone, to dramatically alter your world. The Awakening. Crossing paths with your twin flame. While it's conceivable that you have already met your twin flame, this stage is when you begin to sense a deep connection with this person. Chris Plines advises caution in falling too quickly, as these relationships are prone to inner turmoil and separation. Gibson labels this period the awakening, characterized by a relationship filled with coincidences and an overwhelming sense of destiny. The conflict or test, the honeymoon phase concludes, and the complications emerge. As your twin flame mirrors your traits, you may find some aspects of their personality irksome. Whether it's their emotional withholding or pointing out your behavior, this stage termed by Plines as the conflict or test, triggers anxiety that may shake the foundation of the relationship. The critical phase. In any relationship, challenges are inevitable. This stage serves as a stress test for you and your twin flame, evaluating how you navigate through tough situations. Gibson suggests that this phase can act as a catalyst for forming a deeper bond. Plines emphasizes that the conflicts arising here and the way you resolve them will determine the longevity of your relationship. The pursuit. This marks the onset of a separation, although it may not be permanent twin flame relationships are renowned for their on and off nature. Regardless of how successfully you navigated the previous stage, separation is an inevitable occurrence. According to Gibson, one of the twin flames will initiate distancing, creating a push and pull dynamic that eventually leads to a necessary separation. Gibson notes, one cannot keep chasing, and the other can't keep running forever. Yielding the act of surrender. Bid farewell to your ego, as personal growth awaits. This period of separation from your twin flame is an opportunity for soul development and reflection on your shared experiences, according to Plines. Gibson explains, the need for control must be relinquished clarifying that surrendering does not entail abandoning the connection, but rather accepting that destiny cannot be avoided. This phase doesn't necessarily signify a permanent farewell. Well, Klein suggests that if you do encounter your twin flame again, the introspection during this period will aid personal improvement. Consider this stage as a positive, freeing both you and your twin flame from the past, and promoting a more conscious approach to living in the present. The reunion. Not everyone is fortunate enough to encounter their twin flame in this lifetime, making a reunion even more auspicious for those who do, as explained by Plines. By directing your energy towards self-improvement and meeting your twin flame halfway, the likelihood of reconnecting increases. Once reunited, you experience a harmony of mind, body, and soul a perfect trifecta that some may find hard to fathom. This stage signifies the restoration of balance, according to Gibson. Drawing lessons from challenging times enhances mutual understanding and deepens your love. The focus here is on acceptance, peace, and reciprocal understanding. If granted the chance to reunite with your twin flame, it becomes imperative not to let them go again.
The critical phase, marked by inevitable challenges, serves as a crucible for testing the resilience of the bond between you and your twin flame. It's in navigating through tough situations that the true strength of your connection is revealed. Mary J. Gibson highlights the potential for this phase to act as a catalyst for forging an even deeper emotional bond. Chris Plines underscores the significance of how conflicts are managed during this stage, emphasizing that the resolution of issues plays a pivotal role in determining the longevity of the relationship. As the pursuit phase unfolds, separation becomes a prominent theme, characterizing twin flame relationships as known for their cyclic on and off nature. Despite successfully navigating the challenges of the previous stage, separation is an inevitable occurrence. Gibson notes the creation of a push and pull dynamic, where one twin flame distances themselves, ultimately leading to a necessary separation. One cannot keep chassing, and the other can't keep running forever, she points out. The yielding or surrender phase invites a transformative journey of personal growth. This time apart from your twin flame, becomes an opportunity for introspection and soul development, challenging individuals to bid farewell to ego-driven behaviors. Gibson emphasizes the need to relinquish control, clarifying that surrendering doesn't mean abandoning the connection, but accepting the inescapable nature of destiny. Far from being a permanent farewell, Pline suggests that encountering your twin flame again is a distinct possibility, and the reflections during the separation phase can contribute significantly to personal improvement. This stage is framed as a positive period, facilitating the release from past constraints, and encouraging a more conscious approach to living in the present moment. The reunion, an apex of the twin flame journey, is a rare and fortunate occurrence for those who experience it. Plines emphasizes that focusing energy on self-improvement and meeting your twin flame halfway increases the likelihood of a reconnection. Once reunited, the harmonious integration of mind, body, and soul signifies a perfect trifecta that surpasses conventional understanding. This stage represents the restoration of balance, wherein lessons learned from challenging times deepen mutual understanding and fortify the love between twin flames. The emphasis here is on acceptance, peace, and a reciprocal understanding that becomes the foundation for a renewed and resilient connection. If given the chance to reunite with your twin flame, it becomes an imperative commitment not to let go again.